Hello. This also looks quite familiar. Particularly the lake with all the little uh, plateaus in it. Plateau is the wrong word for it. I don't think there's like an. I don't know if there's an actual name for that sort of structure. Well, that's interesting. Well, fog rift. Back, huh? Fog <laughs> rift. No effect, eh? Fog call. Okay, so the fog's just straight up here. Just, it, it's the camera battle. Surprised that I'm not dying miserably. Not too much more. There we go. You want to go again? You know who's the cool, capable, and confident. That's what I like to see. That could have gone better, I'm sure. At the same time. It's a black shard. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. Hello. People looking people. Ah, Shulk, sir. Oh, hello, you're Kaylee, right? That's correct. I'm honored that you'd remember me. Relax, no need to get so... Stiff, why are you, uh, what are you doing out here? Uh, well. Oh, Harvey's not with you. You two are, you two are always so close. I'm guessing something happened between them, teacher. I lost contact with Harvey. You don't know where he's gone. Could something have happened? I don't know. I'm leading a search party right now. We've checked a few places so far, but there's been no side of them. Okay. I can see where this is going. Find the guy. Sure, where is that guy? Yeah, we had a lost no pond before, now we got a lost human. Significantly less cute. Ooh. That feels familiar. Ah, uh, I think that's... What is that? That's... Reminds me of the place in Xenoblade 2, maybe? Tend to your personal needs, everyone. Nice. A Nopon medal. We can pocket that for later. Oh my goodness, I got a Nopon medal. <gasps> Fantastic. Actually got <gasps> enough. Oh my goodness, there's so many. <laughs> Trying to avoid Back fighting. Ends. I'm sorry, but we have to. Do we? Doesn't seem so... Oh, they're just taking up the entire width of it. Oh, just give us, give us <laughs> that through. We don't need to do this now. We can do this later. When I'm under-leveled and I need to <laughs> grind on stuff for like an hour again. <laughs> no! Where's the way up? Where's the way up? Where's the way up? Oh no! The door's locked! This is like a requirement! Were we not popular enough? No! Yeah, I probably shouldn't fight ten enemies at once. Probably. Probably. Okay, well, I guess I'm fighting something, because it looks like the incursion is probably Aliens. actually part of the story. I'm sorry, but we have to. Okay, it's about halfway, and into <sighs> the base itself. Oh, the there we go. How do we proceed? Oh, wait, when did I... Oh, one of these what? guys. Okay. Oh, oh, we've now got two. Stop there. I'll be your Don't let now. Don't let 
the ultimate bringer of the incursion and holder of the land. The flag that flies high as its followers are dead on the ground. We shall end this with a declaration of the truth. Yeah, I'm not sure. I did get quite a few levels out of that. So that was definitely... I think they were just feeding me experience. I, I think that's really what that section was about. Now I can open it. Yay. I wonder if I could have just killed the ones in that section and opened it. Probably, I'm gonna guess. This is where the SOS came from. Let's comb the area. Uh... Yeah. I'm very wary to reach out my hands because I feel under leveled. No traces of Ouroboros power being used. Huh. Plenty of footprints, though. Although, they seem to all be from search party boots. Nothing else at all. Gotta be some trace of the refugees. Oh, there's something all right. But it's weird. Weird how? There are tracks leading up to here, but... Nothing to suggest that anyone left. So, do we think they were done in? <laughs> oh, sorry. <sighs> calm down, calm down, calm down. We'll, hand, we'll handle that, uh, uh... He's gonna be very upset at the truth. Actually, I'm, I wonder if he'll be, like, relieved, like, okay, you're alive, so that means I can still go save you, right? Because we've seen those scenes that's clearly her. Oh, no. When you don't try to get along, when you don't understand each other, the unknown seems like a threat. Why are we bringing those people with us? Oh no. Oh. <sighs> Drop it, Nail. Matthew! You know why, surely. Yeah, but... Some of our folk were soldiers. Spare a thought for them, yeah? Makes no sense. My all. Haven't we done enough? We could have just kept to ourselves, but we're still doing this, and now Kyra's dead. 
I mean, I get it. It just sort of depends on, do you want to solve the problem? Or do you want to remove the problem? Niall, you here? Why in the dark? Go away. With or without Mobius, nothing will change. In the end, people always kill people. Those soldiers were still part of the cycle. I bet they were controlled. Doubt it. No red irises. Yeah, just red eye. That that, that tricked me. Savages. They killed Kyra just to add on a measly few extra days. Come on. That's worst case. Matthew. Always in fantasy land. What? You can't keep every bloody person happy. How can you not understand it's impossible? The only true end is the moment you give up. Isn't that what Granddad taught us? Then show me already! This world of peace where nobody has to die. Make it come true. You think you could do that, do you? You think you've got what it takes? I... I... <sighs> well, I don't. I'm barely holding on. You hear me? We can't yet be sure that she's dead. Even the footprints. The search party's little skirmish could be wholly unrelated to this. In my head, I get it, yeah. Except... in my heart of hearts... <sighs> I bloody hate this! You hate what? These stupid bodies we have! If only we turned into husks, the same way that soldiers do. But no, we vanish without a trace. No evidence, nothing. I understand your unease. But keep heart. I know, I know. You fellas, can I help you? Food's up. Saved you some. Come on. Everyone's having a blast. I'm not depressed or anything. <laughs> oh, I know you're not. That's not what I was implying. We're having a little shindig. Ooh. Oh. Nothing like a little shindig to foster relations, eh? Oh. Hey. You're really into this idea too, huh? Thanks, so. So the <sighs> the thing that I innately disagree with on Niall's is sort of like how she's reacting to it. I don't blame her for being upset about it. The problem is ultimately is that the problem is the system, right? People are molded by the environment they're brought up in and what she's experiencing is basically the clashing of two entirely different philosophies on life and she doesn't understand it. And that's the problem, right? I'm not saying either side is better. One of the sides is better. Um, but if you want to change that, you have to change the system. Which is basically what Matthew's going on about, right? Do you want to solve the problem or do you want to remove the problem? Because you can't ignore the problem. It's going to affect you in some way, no matter what. It's easy to take this problem just... Scoot it under the bridge. Maybe no one will notice. All that sort of fun stuff. I can't skip travel. I can't? Okay, well that's probably a good place to end for today then. Because if I can't go do other stuff, I'm going to assume next time they're not just going to throw me into like a boss fight. Like I, I, that last scene, I'm almost surprised there wasn't a boss fight when we showed up. Now they like split the it's scene up. It, it's almost like they're telling me I, I need to save because there's going to be a boss fight. That's sort of where I am mentally. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there, as I said. So, uh, 
I'm hopeful I can finish the game before, um, uh, I'm hopeful I can finish the game before I need to edit and post any stuff so I can just post it all at once. I sort of want to do that once, and given the length of this, the alleged length of a quick Google search with minimal spoilers, here's hoping I can. So, see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. Hello and welcome to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeemed! Last time I am... I feel under leveled because it feels like the game's about to throw a boss at me. I mean... I might as well try to get up to 30 at least based on the enemies in the area. With friends at our side? <laughs> I will say, I will say that the radar is nice, nice, to find some, hey, nice. for the these specifically, but it's also quite annoying when I'm expecting something, and when, when it tells me that there's something, and it's like I can't find it. Where right? the fuck are you? That's that'll be a bit annoying when it comes up. Now, after all the other places, I'm just sort of expecting every single. Daksha Shrine, that does sound familiar. I'm not recognizing this one at the very least. Are we ready for this? I've got the rear. Steady as Oh no! Okay, I figure it was a kit. Some sort. I know I can count on you all. Oh! We will shit, 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 Where did you come from? You weren't there when I walked up. <laughs> I'm happy I didn't turn around and I fell off. <laughs> I'm not fighting that at the moment. Oh, wow. That was auto ba Auto balancer. That sounds familiar. Was that a... I'm trying to remember what that was. Attacks are blocked. You are not thrown off balance. Okay, I remember that now. Uh, maybe. You know, she really seems like she could be a... She's. She feels like she's meant to be a self-healing evasion tank. It really does feel like that. But at the same time... She's a healer. She doesn't have aggro gain. So it's also like, ah, oh well. Can't skip travel here. Can't skip travel here. Can't skip travel here. That really is. The fact that they're like locking me. Can I skip travel here? I can't. I'm actually not sure, like, if does that actually indicate a battle? Because that might indicate a lack of a battle since they're not letting me go do stuff. Though, let me, uh, grind. I guess I didn't really think that through too hard. Either way, I sort of did a once around on the area. Uh, fought a, uh, fought a bit of enemies. Got, like, unlocks and stuff. And I'm not at level 30, but I'm much closer than I was before. So I feel slightly more confident. So I think I'm going to do a little bit more uh, of like stuff like gems and whatnot, and then press the button. A very, very annoying button. That That's definitely something up there. Yeah, that's definitely something up there, but I still... I wish that they had a vertical element to that. I really wish they had a vertical element to that. Okay, time to see. Uh, am I being paranoid? Time to rest, okay? Or not. Matthew, I don't suppose you'd mind telling us that you're really a boss we're all about to fight. <laughs> Sorry. About your sister. What happened to Niall and so on? Oh. I wouldn't want to force you. No. It's fine. Alright. It happened on the day the city fell.
You know, we haven't gone up against any of those, like, distorted enemies again, have we? That came up, like, Mobius. a while back, but it hasn't come up again. <sighs> came to I was all cuts and bruises there, there was that cut to Niel and I think she was holding something with a similar color as the explosion so I assume that's related but I, I hope he's questioning why there is an explosion back then A was the one that nursed me back to life found me while traveling apparently by pure chance <sighs> apparently yep yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I see. That's why. It's not just that. It's him too. The Mobius bastard. I'll wring his neck with my bare hands. I swear it. Shulk's just like looking over knowingly. He totally knows entirely what's up. You've hardly changed, to my eyes. You're saying I'm like him. Ooh. No need to throw it in my face. <laughs> so why do you look like that? Logos was the male persona, and Numa the female one. Ontos was meant to stand somewhere between. Forming the Trinity Processor. It all adds up to me. I see. <gasps> so, wait, wait. Are, are we officially saying that Elvis is non-binary? I'm, I'm not saying that like in like a joking way. Like that would actually be a cool thing for them to like use that concept to sort of uh, uh, base the sort of like how it like you basically have one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum uh, of one way of perceiving human experience and then you also have something to fill in the gaps. That's actually like a really interesting way to sort of uh, have that sort of concept. Especially when you're like personifying it, right? Does Matthew know? So about you and Alpha, what happened? How did you split apart? It was unforeseen. For that Mobius and man to have that kind of power. To my fortune, it unshackled me from the chains of Ontos. Chains? As you may know, and this is surely evident to you, Shulk, but Origin, it's based upon the architecture of Ontos's core. Okay, I'm not recognizing the name of Ontos. So... I heard about that from Melia. A gift from Alvis, she called it. Ontos was the Arbiter, and thus was predicated on the existence, or perhaps the opinions, of the others, Logos and Numa. In short, without the two of them present, Ontos was just a machine. Interesting. My original, he was shaped by Klaus, and shouldered the man's regret as he was born into that world. Hence, he was able to help you. But he is no longer. The me that is left is just a machine. And machines know no sympathy. That's why he took steps to erase this world. To create a new future in its place. Debris of the past. And the noise that permeates the present. Your lives are to him redundant. His conclusion that only new life that of the people of the city ought to be preserved. Ontos proclaimed himself Alpha and chose to leave for a new world, shepherding the citizens along with him, while erasing the old world in his wake. However, 
Ben's intrusion caused something of a setback. That is not all it did. In any case, I was able to separate from Alpha. The memories of traveling with you, and all other faint recollections, they compose me. Hmm. You could call me his conscience. So, here's what this conscience or whatever is saying, then. There's no life that deserves to be left behind. All life is worth saving, more or less. Yes, that's the gist of it. I suspect that if Logos or Numa were here now, they would surely say the same thing. Yeah, I bet. So why tag along with the kid? You've good reason, don't you? For Alpha to command some form of power in this world, he needs a body to inhabit. Yes. Like how Zanza once lived in you, and Matthew's sister. Oh, okay. That explains a little bit of that. Currently in Matthew... Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, there it is. Okay. What's this? This wind? So oh, many fucking names. So many fucking names being thrown. And I'm trying to... There are so many unique names to the Trinity Processor. I'm not tracking them to exactly who they are in the story. Because they use different names in the actual story, right? Numa, I recognize. That was like a big problem. I've come one, to but... fetch you, Matthew. <gasps> come. It's time to go. This isn't Mobius. Is it Mobius? Oh. Oh, is it not going to be a boss battle? Is this the end of the chapter? Did I just... I guess this is going to be a very interesting... Uh, Picking up an episode midway through sort of thing, I guess. Huh. Wait, am I actually at the end of the chapter? If I remember correctly, I think something... Because uh, I just like Googled it briefly. I think there's four or five chapters. Huh. I wonder... It feels like the story hasn't really gotten going yet. So that's part of what I'm curious about. How far we actually are through it. Hmm. I've made a record. Oh, yeah. I'm taking a risk. I just didn't think about it and saved over it. <laughs> I guess they started a chapter with a fight too, so who knows. Also, that's a really short chapter if that was a chapter. Oh, fog beast again. Okay. They're they're in the story now. Oh, hello. Level one. Beautiful level one. Does it actually have my setup still? It, I think this actually does technically still have my setup because of the extra attack. That's interesting. Are you alright? Niall? I'm fine. <sighs> What were those things all about? They were giving me Mobius scrap vibes, but they weren't the same. Matthew! What happened? Oh, hey, Oren. It's fine. We're all good. Was it Mobius? Nah. Some new kind of breed of monster. Took them down, and they vanished into thin air. Don't scare me like that. I thought, since you used the Ouroboros power, it had to be Mobius. Come on, that's crazy talk. It's been like 15 years since we last tussled with Mobius. Yeah, I suppose so. How are we for Ether? See for yourself. Right on. So it looks like we've met the quota. Shall we head? Ah. Mm. Niall? Hmm.
Oh, uh, okay. Why did the fog beast have it? Let us away towards a new world. Out with the old and in once more with the new. Huh. Mayo. Uh. What's the matter with you? Shake a leg. Uh, sorry. Coming. Well, that could explain. So we're saying like the fog was a result of Alvis, basically. Mm. And the whole stuff Mayo. that uh, A was going on what about there. What were you there. up to back there? In, in uh. terms of motivation. You were kind of spaced out. Not really. <sighs> Matthew. What's up? It's Matthew. Listen. We could do with a little help over here. Get a snaffy. Wolf, say. More than we expected. No rest for the wicked. Copy that. I'll head over. You want me at Day Delisle, right? That's it. Thanks. Dylan, eh? Yeah. Says they're having trouble with Wolves. Gonna lend him a hand. Damn. They've really been multiplying. Sure looks like it. My bad, Mayo. I'll catch you up later. Uh, okay. Let us away, towards a new world, out with the old, and in once more with the new. That does, like, conceptually seem like it would treat her as more important, like, more stronger than Mobius, right? Like, fuck if I remember. It has been over a decade since Alpha seized Origin. Missy, if he intends to show himself at last. While Origin remains in Alpha's clutches, my will cannot extend beyond its threshold. I trust you will set forth once more. Huh. Sword of the End. That which denies fate and makes its essence mercurial. What machinations could have led it into that man's grasp? <laughs> I see origin brims with the very will. Of those who are as unto gods. I, I'm remembering that I'm I like I'm starting to remember some details from Xenoblade 3 that I think I just straight up forgot. I'm gonna be honest. Like as much as I enjoyed Xenoblade 3, its lore felt the messiest. It its lore felt very messy. With a lot more things that felt like they didn't, how to say it, mesh as well together as some of the previous games felt like they did. It felt like there was more things that were just, this happened. Like the sword, I think, made sense by the end, right? Because it was like made out of it, so that's why it was capable. It was made out of stuff from that, right? Or was there more to it? Like... Man, I really like Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but, like, it's weird because it did so many good things, but, like, some of the parts of the series I enjoy the most, I sort of feel like it just did worse than the other games. Th like, if they concisely explain a bunch of stuff here and, like, clean up some of that messiness, and they, like, go outright and say things... Because the fact that he brought up the sword at all means that's, like, probably relevant to stuff. If they outright say things instead of just being, like, 
well, we're implying something, so I hope you remember all the messy details and uh, put everything together. I will be very happy, let's say that. <laughs> Nayo, you I thought you were dead. I'm so glad. I, I was so sure you... I thought I'd really lost you for good this time. <laughs> Wait, the outfit. What's up with that outfit, huh? Where'd you pick up a weird get-up, like... Matthew, no! It's not her! Huh? Not Nael. But it clearly is. How can you not recognize her? Oh, of course. You've never met her before. I was about to say. Hang on. I, I should have a photo. Matthew, look at me. The person you see before you is a Nael. It is in part, but not wholly. Inside of her... Is Alpha. Huh? Not you too, eh? What is this? Who is this Alpha guy, anyway? I don't understand. What are you doing? Come quickly. Everyone's waiting. Matthew. Niall, hold up a minute, yeah? Uh oh. Seems there's something really confusing going on here. Why, why does she want? Alpha suddenly appeared one day. With the goal of destroying this world. Rex and I, and Zed too, we fought against Alpha. To save the world from his rancor. Oh, he still had his arm. Alpha's power is unparalleled. Wait, think? For all our efforts, it wasn't enough. Even our collective might failed to repel him. In the end, all we managed was to buy a fraction more time. Having tasted frustration in battle, Alpha understood. He realized he needed something to amplify his power. An avatar. <sighs> Nael is the avatar, Matthew. <sighs> the day the city fell, you didn't lose Nael because she went missing. Rather, she had become Alpha's vessel. No. Oh. Come on, hey, not you two. I can't. What the hell is this? Can you stop making shit up? There'll be time for explaining <laughs> later. But now you've got to give her a real drubbing. Huh? Drubbing? Not that violent. If at all possible, we will free Nile. And if it's not? If it's not, then better buckle up, kid. You can't be bloody serious! You are in the way of our vision. My hell. Say, what's so great about this world? Really? All the thieving for one's own gain, the greed. Life has less value in this world than a piece of dirt. This is your world of peace. Oh. We don't need it. Do we, Matthew? Answer. Found a sympathetic host. I guess, yeah, that's the idea. You disappoint me, truly. I didn't think you'd side with them. I haven't. I'm just... Enough of this. We will simply go alone then. Niall! Goodbye, my brother. Okay, there it is. If you mean to obstruct me, then die! Well, I will say... 33. Fuck. Uh, well, we're about to find out. I'm missing a lot. Matthew went down already? No, I think it's Matthew she wants. Okay, I think I'm on their level. Is the game purposely throwing me into situations where I'm going to be on their level? To, unless I, like, purposely grind beforehand? It, it sort of feels like that. It's not like I've been not doing the side content, either. I just haven't done everything. And didn't even let me go back and do quests.
for I, I I will try this, but Because people are going down, but it's still just one enemy, and she hasn't done anything that seems insurmountable, I guess. Maybe. Nickel's not handling it too well. Launch! Then again... We're also doing very little damage, all things considered. I think we're missing a bunch, really. I do have bonus XP, but I wasn't trying to use it unless I needed to. And I don't know if it'll get me up to 33. Oh, fuck, Rex went down right as I was fucking so I don't care. This is a lost battle. <laughs> At the very least, the battle does clearly... Oh my goodness. I don't have... Oh no, let me get aggro back. Oh no. I see what happened. Everyone just needs... To... Okay, there it is. There's the game. There's the game. Uh, I might need... I might actually need... Like, even if I wanted to try it at this level, I definitely need something to keep aggro up after coming back, because everyone ac accumulated so much fucking aggro by that point. No, let me go get XP from the quest that I've had time to finish up. Things will be different this one's this really just like... I, I'm curious, am I just like playing this wrong in some way? Is it expecting me to just do more miscellaneous BS? Because I've not been doing an insignificant amount. Because a little more than I probably want to, just because I know it affects the progression so heavily. Hmm. Is it expecting me to use bonus XP? Th that's probably the Don't other element to it that I'm everyone. curious about. Because how far can I get? 32. It, it's not even all the way, but like 32 still. Okay, Ooh, well, um, I'm, I'm gonna. I have. I have a few of these. I think I can finish up quest-wise. The Nopon Metal one being the good one. By the way, am I still in Chapter Three? I've made a record. Okay, no, yeah, I am in. Okay, oh, okay, I am in Chapter Four. Okay. I thought those were only at the chapter changes. Did I not? I guess I had a boss at the beginning of chapter three, technically. What was hmm. it that you needed? Still don't have enough to do that. Uh. Yay, we got no pond metal thingies. Yeah, I gotta wait, what did what did he give me? Wait, 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 what did he give me? Uh, Jockey Jockey Amulet Silver. An old amulet with no upon design lightly raises the effects of a speed. Jogger? What? Wait, what? What? Oh, so it's not even a shop. It's just I get medals and I come to him and he gives me stuff. Okay, it's not even a... Lightly raises the effect of speed jog. What's a speed jogger? This oh, have that's it. It's the it's speed jogger is the freaking party skill. I have to look that fucking up. Ah, uh, okay. I get it now at least. Oh, hey, look, affinity scene. Can I do this now? Because it's chapter four. So you guys had the Ouroboros stone that was from the city then? Yeah, some refugees fleeing the city entrusted it to us. 
My granddad spent years studying that thing. He'd say it was more important than life itself. I see. So the research documents we got with the stone belong to your grandfather? Oh, well. Without Grandad, it's just a giant paperweight anyway. Don't worry, Matthew. Riku and I will be more than happy to take over research on the Ouroboros Stone. I promise you, we won't let your grandfather's work go to waste. Right. Cheers for that, Shulk. I'm sure Grandad will be happy. Yeah. And it's not like we're exactly strangers to that thing, anyhow. Huh? Oh, really? It's been given to you by Nia, the Queen of Agnes, right? Well then, it's got to be kept safe at all cost. No matter what. Rex. <laughs> no matter what. Also, what? Was that not here before? I don't remember. Also, is that like relevant to the story that's been told? Hmm. Did that like spoil something, basically? I guess it's more my thought. City survivor. He was just here for some reason. He was on the map. And. Yeah. Happy to have saved you. Whoever you are. Carter, yes. I'll remember that Carsten. name. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember that name for sure as I got it wrong after I looked at it like five seconds earlier. Is like by and far the strongest ah, deck I've done so far, one. and I, I like how it just came out of it with uh, Shulk just like looking up, like, oh yeah, that yeah, went well. No, other side. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Come on, stop beeping at me. I'm right next to it. I know. Hey, nice. Nope on the yeah, that'll be good too. Oh, another nope on metal. That actually might be enough. Nope, never mind. Never mind. This is in fact an area I ignored before. And I'm just really noticing that it's more extensive than I probably gave it credit for. That does look familiar though. What is this place? Looks older than Colony 9 by far. To be honest with you, it's a super ancient ruin. And when I say super, I mean ultra mega ancient. Yeah? Buildings made of stone. That's pretty primitive, all right. Hey, now. It's primitive buildings like these that are still standing today. Admittedly, there's not as much left standing as when I saw it the last time. But still, you can feel the magnificent weight of history, right? Huh. Suppose. Wow. Tough crowd. Hmm, I guess it figures. Interesting. Hmm. Lumos Pillar. I'm trying to th remember if this is what I'm thinking of. Is this the one that was like Endgame? Upper level of Kingdom Tansel between the sex building and the gates. 
Okay, this isn't... I don't think this is... Well, maybe it is. Whatever. <laughs> it does look familiar. I'm not placing precisely where it was in the game. I was thinking it was that place where we fought Melos, but fuck, it could be so many Dead things at this point. How do we proceed? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the design of this is the balancing of this is fucky. Huh? Oh, oh some reason I interpret that as water. Okay, well, let's uh, try it again. 